Hey everyone, Teo here. In this video, I want to show you the compatibility issues with XP Pen Artist Pro 14 Gen 2 pen display with Android devices. So XP Pen actually says this pen display can work with Android devices. On their website, they have this list of compatible Android devices from Huawei and from Samsung. And I don't see the Samsung tablets listed here. I don't have a Samsung phone, which is why I'm using a Samsung tablet. And this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. So in order to use this pen display with an Android device, such as a phone or tablet, you have to make sure that device can output video through the USB-C port. And if your device cannot provide enough power to power the pen display, you will have to connect the pen display to additional power. So the display on this Samsung tablet is 16 by 10, and this is also 16 by 10, which is nice. So there is no scaling issues. There's no stretching issues. The most important thing to know here is there is no Android driver. So you will not be able to customize the hotkeys or use this shortcut remote. There is no way to customize the pressure sensitivity of the pen unless the app that you're using allows you to customize the pen pressure. This is not a touch screen, so finger gestures are not supported. You can still use your pen to move around. But because this is not a touch screen, there are certain things that you want to do but cannot do, and that will really affect productivity. For example, let's say I want to open this app to draw. This app is Concepts. Now, if I want to go back to the home screen, I cannot swipe up from the bottom because there is no finger gesture support. And in this case, I don't even see the these three buttons, the Android buttons, which don't always appear depending on which app you use. So I cannot use these three buttons to go back to the home screen or to switch uh, between apps. Let's go back to concepts. I am not able to use finger gestures to move this canvas to scale or to rotate because there is no finger gesture support. So I have to use the tool there to move this to the left side so that I can continue working. This app supports some keyboard shortcuts, but not all keyboard shortcuts work, unfortunately. And here I have to tap on the panning button or two again to move to the left side and switch back to the brush button again to draw. So as you can see, this is very inconvenient and very tedious. Undo works. However, Control A, uh, Control A works. Control X also works, which is great. So let me uh, write something here again. I can use one, two, three, four, five to switch between the twos. But if I press S, which is to help me scale this, it doesn't work. Yeah. So if I press R to rotate, it also does not work. So um, without some of the keyboard without all of the keyboard shortcuts working, um, it is quite inconvenient, especially when you cannot use finger gestures. Different drawing apps will have different glitches. So this is Krita. And pressure sensitivity works with most of the apps that I have tested. So I can get the thin and thick lines to appear. So if I use spacebar, I can move the canvas. That is great. If I use control spacebar to zoom in or out, I cannot do so. If I use control plus to zoom, it doesn't work. If I use control minus to zoom, it works. And now when it zooms down, I cannot zoom back up. So I have to press um, control zero or use the zoom tool here to zoom and as you can see, this is not intuitive at all. It's very difficult to navigate around the canvas to change the canvas size or rotation. It's just very difficult to work with this without the keyboard shortcuts working and without finger gestures. This is Medibank Paint and nothing is happening right now because I need to go into the settings to turn 
of palm rejection first. So now I can draw with it and pressure works. But the downside here is again, I cannot use finger gestures to move around and this app does not support keyboard shortcuts like the tablet version of the app. This app is kind of unusable on this pen display. And of course we need to test Clip Studio Paint and pressure does not work. I've already gone into the preferences to see how I can fix pressure sensitivity, but I was not successful. For the desktop version of Clip Studio Paint on Mac OS and Windows, there is this additional tablet option here where you can have more tablet settings to adjust, but that option is missing here. Without pressure sensitivity, I don't think it makes any sense to use Clip Studio Paint for drawing. At least the keyboard shortcuts do work. I don't expect the compatibility issues to improve, so this pen display is best used with desktop OS, Windows, Mac OS, or Linux.